it's ever like left something so much you can't get rid of it. I mean, like, come on. I might. I might think about it. But this is like a one of a kind one. It is so cute. And that's my name. We were doing some customized jewelry for a little bit. We will be doing customized jewelry again, but we can only do it every so often because we send them in bulk. So if you guys want something in a little bit, um, like a few months probably, I'll have more. I just got a message from the website. They said, hi, do you have rings? Yes, I do. This one was actually given to me by Omar's family in Syria, but it didn't fit. So they were like, just put it on the website because they know I would love it. And sadly, I can't wear it. It's a little bit too small. It was a uh, five and a half, but it's just silver and it has really, really pretty um, stones on it. It's really sparkly. You can't really tell, but it's just a plain band. It's really gorgeous. That one, I think it's... This one's 35, it's real 925 sterling silver. And this is a chain ring. This is a solid 18 karat gold chain ring. Keeper zirconia in the shape of a flower. This one, I have to look, I think it's like a size seven. We have all different sizes. This one's really small, it's a five and a half. This one I believe is a size seven. I have two of these. I think one in a bigger size, one in a smaller size. Hi guys, I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention. I have work soon. You miss your mom? Yeah, I was just a mom, but it's fine. We get to talk and stuff. Would you blog about any dishes you learned? Yes, I will. Keep the ring if you loved it. Thank you, guys. See, you guys are really supportive. I really love you guys, honestly. Um, This one, it's a bigger size. It's like a nine, nine and a half. It is a crown chain ring, solid 18 karat gold from the Middle East. I actually posted a video of where I got it from. If you guys are watching my story, I was in there picking them out. So, so, so cute. Can you do a question and answer? I think I will. I don't know if I have time today because as soon as I'm done doing this, I'm off to work. But if I see any questions that I'm allowed to answer, well, I'm on the slide, I'll definitely do that. You're a great speaker. Should working on the TV. <laughs> Thank you so much, honestly. <sighs> it's stressful being on TV. I kind of just like being normal, if that makes sense. Um, this one has green stones. It is so, so beautiful. It's called the Emerald Circle one. I believe this is a size seven. I'll have to check. I love this one. And so, yeah, if you like, you know, the green stones, you do that one. And... Yeah, and the crown has the green stones as well. Okay, and let me find one of my favorites. Where did I put it? I'm going to show you guys my favorite chain ring. I don't know how it hasn't sold yet. It's handmade in the Middle East, like I said. And I think it's because it doesn't show its true beauty, but it's like covered in stones, 18 karat gold. This is my like favorite ring ever. I would have kept this one if it fit me, but it's about a size too small. Let me see. It's a size 7. And I think it's because you can't see the stones on it. But it's so, so, so sparkly. And very, very gorgeous. Now, I have some bracelets. Boop. Okay. So, these ones are on here are all from the Middle East. So, this one, Omar handpicked. It matches this ring. It's like a band, but it's also adjustable. Sorry. It's hard to do all of them at once. It's really, really pretty. 925 sterling silver. This one's a double bracelet, so it comes together. has a little bit of sparkle. It's adjustable. It's like one of the pool string ones. And I agree, guys. Everyone that's saying green is beautiful, I love green. This one I handpicked out in the Middle East. Let me show you. So it's silver, but it's um, plated with 18 karat gold. So I believe we are selling this for 40. And it is so cute. It has like little nano stones, turquoise, cubic zirconia. It's so beautiful. And I found this in a store in the Middle East when we weren't planning on getting any more stuff for the website. And I was just kind of like, 
they're gonna like that. So yeah, and then from that same store, cause this store was amazing. I found this out and about. It's also sterling silver um, with 18 karat gold plating. So you kind of just open it, put it around your wrist. Let me put it. Guys, I have big wrists, so. Just kind of pull it and open it like that. Okay. It's so, so, so cute. Just close it a little. It's so beautiful. I have big wrists, so I'm not the best model for it. Some call it big bones, some call it a little chunky. I just call it too much chicken nuggets. So let's see. All right, guys, so there's that. Um, and then we have another double-sided. These ones are actually picked out by Omar's mom. So this is Omar's mom style, really sleek, a little bit of sparkle, you can't really tell. They're double. Um, um, strand and they're adjustable and a lot a lot of this stuff I'm literally going to be putting um, not on the website I'm sorry I'm going to be going to Dearborn with it because I need some extra stuff that I can take there so I'm not sold out of everything before I go they really messed up and then a little swirly one we actually have a matching um, necklace and everything with it Omar picked this out, and I think his mom, he has a butterfly one um, that's blue. We have some blue stuff. They're really pretty. So that's for the new bracelets. I do have some other necklaces, but I only have one of these. Oh, whoops. But I only have one of these, so I didn't plan on putting too many on this thing because this is my favorite necklace, the three-strand, because I tried it on myself. And the only reason I didn't keep it is because no one was going to see it because, you know, the hijab. So I'm like, all right, let me give it to someone that's actually able to wear it and have it appreciated. So I'm actually going to take you to part of my house to show you what it looks like hung up because these are so cute. And I got them. Actually, Omar got the, these from the Middle East. Let me turn on the light. Lighting. Kind of creepy. But I put these on the website. No one can really tell how big they are. The theme of my house is pink roses. These have pink roses. And look how intricate the detail is. It's cloth. It's like a tapestry. Someone said you changed your whole religion for a man. Let me correct you. I was Muslim before I met Omar. My religion is what made me find my man. So that clears stuff up for you. Hopefully it does. All right. So I have... Many different styles of those. They come with a little wood thing on the top. This one has swans on it. It's kind of like a cabin. And then we have ones that are like, that one's more of like France. I would say this is like maybe Switzerland, I don't know. Stuff with ponds and cabins and stuff. And then we have a lot that are like the scenery of Syria with like their beautiful fountains and architecture. Sorry. Okay, I'm happy that cleared that up. I get snappy with that just because like a lot of people think that even though I've said it multiple times on the show, I don't know how much they actually portrayed that, but so I also sell these, they hang up with this little thing. I have a lot of different designs for these. They come as a pair. So this and then a smaller one. And then I have one with like a peacock and they're shiny, they're metal. And I think they're like um, stained with bronze and gold. They're, they're really stunning. And they come with two, they hang up on the wall. Beautiful for, you know, Ramadan present, E present coming up. And we have different, uh, many different kinds. Also, Ramadan Eid present. This is a Quran box. It's so pretty. Comes with a latch. You can keep a Quran in here. I will be bringing these to Dearborn. You're going to need a lot more than that. <laughs> Girl, no problem. I will get more. I don't know how much more stuff I can get from, like, 
Lebanon, Syria, stuff like that, because it's really, really hard to bring to Michigan from there. That's why I'm trying to keep a lot of that here and not put them on the website yes, yet. Sorry. Uh, so these are on the website. Basically, the underwraps are on the website, which I haven't showed on here, but the beautiful um, sparkly underwraps that you guys seen on my story are on there. Thank you guys so much for saying you're beautiful. Hun, be yourself. Don't let people get you down. I'm Muslim marriage and amazing Muslim man. Stuff you're doing is beautiful. Thank you guys so much. Any babies in the, your future? Distant future. <laughs> Not near future, but distant. You're an inspiration to all Muslims. Oh, mashallah. Thank you. Shukran. I really love all of you guys. Just laka laka. Are you and Omar living together now? It takes forever. Sadly, I can't say. As soon as I can, maybe I'll make a YouTube channel and just get, like, all the an like answer all the questions all in one. Okay. And then Aleppo Soap. Um, we will have Aleppo Soap at the event, and we have this one on the website. I will show you what Aleppo Soap is. If anyone doesn't know what it is, it's soap made in Syria. It's only authentic if you really get it there because it's made there with like aged oils and they're amazing scents and they're so amazing for your body. Omar uses it all the time and he has amazing skin if you don't know. Very lucky. Let me put these together. This one's a pack of 10. I have more of the six piece and I have one of the 10 piece and then a few of the four pieces. I haven't put the four pieces on the website yet because those were one of the ones I was going to bring to Dearborn. Um, yeah, because these have sold out so quickly because this is something that like you really can't get anywhere unless you're there or from Albuquerque Couture. So And I have other exciting news. No, it's not a baby. <laughs> I promise it's not a baby. But when that time comes, I'll let you guys know too. But for right now, it's just more business moves. And I, it's something to go with Omar and his family. And I think you guys will be really proud of us. So, okay. Found a better way to do this. So, I don't want any of these like to fall out when I'm showing you. Okay, so this is called the Cleopatra Aleppo Soap, a pack of 10 and all different kinds. They smell so good. My favorite is this one. Let's keep on falling because it's honey. It smells so good. And this is on the website right now. And yeah, I love them. Honestly, I even get my hair and I rub the soap at, on the ends of my hair as well as my body because the oils in it are really, really good for like restoring like stuff that's damaged. So if you have like really rough skin, you can do it there and then hair on my split ends, it makes them a lot stronger. Not as easy to like break off. Do you ship to UK? Yes, I do. To show the rings you're wearing. Yeah, so I have a gold one. It's like a double ring. It's like a symbol for like being protected by the one who loves me. Um, my name, my name in silver, um, and then this beautiful emerald one. Okay. Thank you guys so much. You guys are very sweet. All right, do you guys wanna, I think that's good for right now to show you guys. I can answer a few questions before I go. It's 3.10, I'm gonna leave in like about 10 minutes. What is your website? Okay, it's in my bio. It's called albacorecouture.com. It's a play on Omar's last name, so his family name, and since a lot of this stuff is from where he's from, it's only right. And then couture, because you know, fashion icon. It's like I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put these back. This thing doesn't want to co cooperate with me. So, pin your website. It's in my bio, and I also do it a lot in my story. I, 
like I'm not sure exactly how you pin your website. Okay, I'm just gonna do this later, I guess. Ooh, I'm gonna do that later. Okay. All right, so now I can answer some questions, guys. I also have um, some hijabs gonna be on there soon. And I ordered um, a whole bunch of hijabs that I handpicked out months ago. I'd say three to four months ago. So then I thought they scammed me because I ordered a lot. I mean, like a lot, a lot. For so I can have like a lot and not run out easily on hijabs on the website. I thought that they would never come because they never came. And yesterday, three months after, I got an email. Hey, your hijabs have been shipped out. So there's a huge chance I'm going to have a lot of hijabs to come. She's not in Michigan. No, I'm not, guys. I'm not in Michigan. She a Muslim? Um, no, I am not. I'm actually Sunni, but, you know, um, not like, I don't know. I just, I'm kind of just Muslim, but I do go to, you know, Sunni mosque. I pray the Sunni way, so. Nothing wrong with Shia, though. Ever been to Finland? Hi, I have not been to Finland. And look, I'm like pink right there because I have a cold. Married couples can see hair. Yes, so my mom can see my hair. You know, my family can see my hair. The Diamond Beauties, hi, how are you? Sunni is Muslim, yeah. I'm just Muslim, you know. I don't really like how um, Islam was separated into like two big categories when we're not supposed to separate it. But that's more of like political and then you fall on which side. What can you tell us? I don't want to ask stuff you can't say. I'm sorry. Um, I can tell you you no know, personal stuff. Not really stuff about the show or like a location thing as well. So I can't tell you like where I'm at or like if we're together and stuff. Or like, honestly, I can't talk about my relationship, like the relationship on the show. Um, and that's what most people want to know because of course a lot of you guys are here because of the show. How long is your hair? I don't know if I can say that. It's long. I mean, I'm not showing you guys. It goes all the way down my back. If that makes sense. Do you know the story of Corbella? No, I don't. Are you going back on the show? No mm, comment. Sorry, guys. Love y'all. Thank you. Um, I hope the best for your relationship as well. You know, Syrian men are amazing. I can't talk about that. Just because the contract's not up yet, and I know some couples are allowed to talk about stuff, but they specifically called me and told me, like, the contract's not up. So, that's just why. I'm being safe. Do I always have to wear my hair up? Um, no, when I'm at home, I have it down, like no hijab on. When I'm with, um, when I'm just with my family, then I don't have to. Do you make your own stuff? I missed it. I don't make it personally. I buy it from people in the Middle East. I have also a wholesale place in Turkey where I get a lot of Turkish stuff from because their aesthetic is really nice, so I like that. And, um, though I just got a sewing machine and I got a, like, designer book, I want to start creating my own hijabs, like, hand sewing them. I want to be all extra, like, let's say a full, like, a white hijab, but right here, like, a rose thing. And, like, I'll specifically make it so you can wear it the way I wear it. I have a lot of ideas. Because, like, you know, I like the Glamazon stuff. My husband is Turkish. I love their jewelry. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's why that's one of the places I get stuff from. What kind of makeup do you wear? So today I'm wearing, like, a tart, just, like, a brownish um, tint. And then with um, just cream on top so it blended out. 
eyebrows is just like a dip eyebrow I got from CVS forever ago. I wear NARS concealer. I need to put more on right here because I'm sick. And I just got a Too Faced um, highlight. And it looks like it comes in like a ring box. Any specific brand? Not really. I, this is Maybelline Lash Sensation. So... That's honestly my go-to mascara. It makes your eyelashes so good. How is your mom? My mom is great. She's doing amazing. Salam from Bosnia. Salam. Bosnia holds a special place in my heart because my grandpa is from Yugoslavia. I don't think he's Bosnia. I know you don't show your hair as a religious purpose, but do you, as a Muslim, do you cut your hair or no? Yeah, we cut our hair. Um, we can dye our hair or anything, can style it. We just don't, like, show it out in public. But in front of our girlfriends and, like, our husbands and our family, like, we like to make it look really good. I haven't cut my hair since I started wearing hijab. Just, that's just because I've always typically had short hair. And now that I wear the hijab, it grew like crazy. So I'm kind of in love with having long hair now. So I'm not gonna cut it for a while. For a while. When will the scarves? Hey girl, the under scarves are on there. I still need to take the picture of the hijab. I wanna buy something that I can hang them up with to make them look better in the pictures. But the under caps are on there, so you can go check them out. Salam from Iran, I love you, thank you traditional music no i don't sell any arabic traditional music what color is your hair um light brown a little bit lighter than my eyebrows hi from australia hi what's dearborn dearborn's in michigan it's called like the middle east of the u.s and um i was lucky enough to have kbk a amazing charity um, organization reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to go to their event where they raise up a lot of money and they help people all over the world. They asked me to come speak there and hear the other people speak. There's amazing guest speakers there. And so yeah, I'm getting to go and hopefully we can raise a lot of money. It's literally like the Middle East though of America. Almost everyone there is Muslim and they have a huge mosque. So I'm excited to go, I've never been. What specifically is the reason for not showing your hair? It's kind of like our veil. Um, there's a lot of different reasons. It kind of shows our devotion to Allah. Um, a woman that wears that, obviously they're very devoted enough to be able to cover your, cover your hair. Islam is not the only religion that covers the hair, or at least is supposed to. It's a devotion to God. It's like also a symbol that you're Muslim and it's kind of like a safety net against like, um, uh, sorry, against, um, I just blanked Arabic word. Fitna. Fitna, evil eye, things of that sort. Do you pray five times a day? I try, of course. You know, I have a prayer rug at work, prayer rug at my house. That's, some, that's a great reason to be married. Well, personally, if you're married to a really good practicing Muslim, it helps you become more knowledgeable, helps you with prayers, more surah, stuff like that. That's something that is really great for me personally. I apologize. I appreciate you explaining. Oh, no worries. Hey, sweetie, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Keep it. My Arabic is getting a lot better. I'm not like fluent or anything, but I can count to 10. <laughs> Does that count for anything? Are you going to have a second ceremony in America? Stay tuned, we'll see. I miss them, they are out of stock. Are you, wait, I don't think they're out of stock. I think that, let me check. They shouldn't be checking about five minutes. I actually have to go. But before I go, I'm going to check the website. The underwrap shouldn't be out of stock unless they sold out while we were on live. 
because I literally just put them up 20 minutes ago. So let me check. In five minutes, I might have just not typed in how much inventory I have. Elite Scarves, how are you? Hi, I am so good. Elite Scarves, by the way, inshallah, they are going to have an Avery hijab where we came up together with what type of um, hijab it is. It's beautiful. Inshallah, I'll come out soon. I don't know when it's going to be, but we've recently been talk about it, talking about it. You guys are the first ones to know, and I think you guys will love them. They're really, really unique. All right, bye, guys.